Welcome to the channel boys. Today is part one on the EG hash trailer. We're taking it apart. I done took out the fenders, the hood, bumper. I loosened the sock frame. I'm about to take out the doors so it's less lightweight when we lift it up from the front. So we take out the many parts. The last thing I have to do is take out the glass before we proceed to the next video, start cutting and such stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys the progress. Let's get it. All right, so it's a beautiful day today. Working after I work, have to work. All right, so this is the stage we at. Like the hatch don't look the same no more. Like I mentioned, I took out both fenders, bumper, hood, the hot sub frame is loose already. I'm keeping that so I could put it on Kimball. So I'm trying to see what I need. Most likely I take out the sub frame, clean it up, paint it, either save it or paint it. I mean, paint how I sell it. Uh, the rack and pinion, however, I'm keeping that for Kimball, this bat. So I'm gonna keep them parts. And I'm gonna try to take these out so we can start taking out the, the glass. And should be it for this. Removing the extra parts we don't need. A little bit of wiring harness here and there. And um, yeah. But today I wanna get this uh, subframe out of there completely and knock it out. All right, just like that, we took that door out. Starting to have a plane show, what we're looking for. Um, I'm gonna show you guys more likely a little bit now. I'm gonna try to cut someplace around here, possibly. I really don't wanna go this close to the window. I wanna save this, so I'm gonna try to keep this straight cut as much as I can, probably someplace around here. And we scrap them from here to there. However, this piece of the record panel, I want to cut a section and save of the record panel for Kimball for when I need to work on it if I need a piece. We got some of the record panels for either side. After that, I really don't care about the floors or anything. It's a chain. The floor is in good condition. Somewhat. Got a few spots. But we're moving along with what you have to do. Gotta remove the steering wheel. The power steering box is already loose. I wanna take out the other door. So it's lighter weight when we have to lift it up and get the whole subframe with the tires out at once. That's my goal today in this video. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this door away. Proceed to take out the other one off camera. And simply we move on with whatever we have to do. Let's get it.
passenger door is out. Eventually, throughout the day of camera, I'm gonna try to remove the wiring harness from the inside, and we're gonna proceed to move the steering wheel column from here once the dissolved frame is dropped. It's pretty much almost ready. At the end, I gotta take out my headliner before I do any cutting for the next video. Headline looks in good condition. I could probably flip it, save it. Uh, that door panel, quarter panel, I'm saving for the hatch and stuff when it's done. So you can't really see anything. But um, yeah, I'm stuck, boys. This part of the sub tunnel is gonna be part. With the two for the hitch is gonna come out. I'm gonna try to bolt it here in the back and trying to have it welded. So it's gonna be cut like someplace around here. So frame is gonna be here, so bolt it on, get it welded. But I'm trying to remove as many useful parts that I can off of it. So with the doors, the whole front end taken off. Um I could try to see if I could back it up a little bit somewhat and see if we could take out the whole subframe with the tires and springs and everything together set that aside leave these probably on blocks so it's ready so we could start cutting the next couple days the next couple videos this i'm gonna scrap the whole front end my boy is picking it up so i'm trying to make this as fast as possible one to scrap this piece this back piece i'll push it forward cover it up maybe put it inside the garage bay so we could take our time, start working on it. We cross that bridge how we get there. Like I said, I'm trying to use many possible parts from it. So the piece from the quarter record panel that I'm cutting from here, I'm gonna save it for Kimbo in case I need it. I'll have it. I saved them, sorry. So yeah, why not? Next thing I'll have to do is start uh, taking out the window. I don't know if I'll be able to do this today. But um, pretty much, that's what I need from this head. Take out a little bit of the wiring harness. The soft frame is already loose. You lift it up, it'll come up. I might cut the radiator support like I said. Maybe cut it from here. Just so I save this piece for the future. Well, guess I need it. Yeah, I don't need much anything else after that. So it's a matter of just taking out, start cutting and start prepping so we can move on with what we're gonna do. So with that being said, uh yeah, let me see what the mo next move and we'll come back. Alright, check out I got the steering wheel column. I would have had the soft frame out, but we got a situation. So I'm trying to get to it, show you guys. The screw, one of the screws started spinning. So I had to cut the metal. I'm trying to see if I could make clearance to cut it with a grinder. Cause that's the only screw holding it. So as I was here, I was taking off stuff. Took out the coupling for the uh, steering wheel column. Steering wheel, uh, steering wheel, uh, power and steering box itself is loose. It's just that one screw is holding it on the subframe. So I'm trying to make clearance. Trying to see if I could get all this stuff out of here. So that I could simply uh, try to grind out that bolt and um, simply take out the whole differential on the front. So with that being said, let's get it. All right, boys, you guys witness everything from here is off. The only thing I have to remove is the heater core 
unit. Some few screws that could leave the last minute thing. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna take it out. The entire wiring here, harness with the fuel boxes is out completely. So the only thing left that I have to do here is remove the window off camera and another baby or something that we're gonna save. Cut that screw down on the subframe and this is done. It's a plain canvas. You so have to take out the liner and on the next video we can start cutting up. So I'm pump a lot of work. Days work. So you guys see the progress. All of the we done today. Took it all apart. Like I said, we have the window, the mirror to take out. Wanna take my time on it. One more screw in the soft frame, as you guys see. It's loose. When I try to see how I could get in there, cut it out, grind it, and simply just take it out. Put this on jack stand, which will move the whole soft frame out. And we could start proceeding moving the window so that we could start cutting in the next windows up in the next video coming up. So just like that, wasting our time, we ride on it. So with that being said, let's get it. There you guys have it. Have the whole soft frame out. Everything. I don't have to worry about anything from here. I could just cut the wrap support. Start taking out the window. Start cutting the hatch in the next video coming up. A lot of work. But I want to put the work. All this and more inside. I got like a little wiring horn that goes to the back of the tail light that I'm saving. That's it. For everything that I needed from here is taken out. Gotta take out my headliner and that's it. But today's job is completed. Not bad for part one. I used to work in junkyards, dismantling cars. So it's not easy, but it's gotta get done. That's where the spearing comes in. Just like that, boys. Just to show you a little bit more why I'm not fixing it. Could have probably been sanded down. But, again. Why save it if I got no papers? So, simple. We just take out the best part that we need. And we just move on. Everything out. All wearing harness, up so frame, steering wheel column. So yeah. So far I just doing this off camera another day. Trying to save it so I could take it off of mine, hopefully. 
and then we could proceed to uh, start cutting. So for part one, this is what you guys get. Put in my my energy. That took literally half a day, boys, to cut that freaking screw out of there. But perseverance will get you places. Nah, I bet. Again, this is part one on the EG Hatch homemade trailer build. This is gonna match Kimball the hatch when I tore it. So we're gonna look identical. We're gonna be prepped. It's gonna be fully finished. And I hope to take it out to meet and stuff like that. Probably a couple car shows. I'm trying to document it. Again, I'm not the first one, but not too many people. It's put videos out there. I couldn't find one in YouTube of making the trailer. It might be a silly idea. It might be you damage it to some people. But again, I got three of them. Two with title. One that can't do nothing. So, might as well just use all the parts for what we need. And make something fun out of it. At least we still have part of it. Half. But um, yeah, a lot of work put into this shit today, boys. A lot of work. So uh, yeah, wanted to take it from the beginning, show you guys. I just cut it. And I just show half of what I did. No, show you guys the whole process. I took apart literally this whole car, like just. The other video ago, it was a full car. Could have dropped the swap there and ready to go. But we're not going with that route. Again, I got a track car fully built. I got a street car already. So, yeah. We're just gonna have fun with this one. Simply enjoy life, live a little. So, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap a on this one, part one of prepping the EG hatch to cut it for phase two. This is phase one or part one, if you must say. Hope you guys are excited as motivated as I am. Again, whatever little bit I can that I know, I'll teach you guys, I'll pay it forward. I never claim to be the best. I never take claim to be the top dog. But I'm an underdog that I've been doing this for a long time before all the Honda Civic hype. So, with the pleasure of being here after 20 some years since the Fast and the Furious, we're gonna wrap this up, cut it short, clean up this mess. Um, yeah, cut this day short, and uh, I'll see you guys on part two. So, I thank and I appreciate every single one of you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. Stay in tune in the channel, please share. To all your people, help the channel grow a little bit. We almost had a 500 subscriber count. It feel pretty dope. And I owe that to all of you guys. So with that being said, thank you for watching. So like and comment. Until next time, peace.